Hi, I'm Stuart Roy at the Australian Centre for Plant Functional Genomics. My lab, which investigates salt tolerance in cereals, has recently been awarded a new grant from the Grains Research and Development Corporation, the GRDC. This grant is to look at ways of improving the salinity tolerance of wheat and barley. Salinity is a problem for Australian farmers. 69% of the wheat belt in Australia is affected by salt in some way with one in two farms in Western Australia severely affected by salt. Salt is a problem for plants because when exposed to it, they grow slower and they die faster. This new DRDC project is looking at ways to improve the salt tolerance of plants by being able to identify mechanisms that allow them to maintain their growth when they're exposed to salt, but also ways that can deal with the salt when it accumulates in them so they don't die faster. The idea is that we can find plants that can um, have improved yield on saline soils and that we look at the genes responsible for these mechanisms, developing molecular markers that breeders can use to incorporate into their breeding programs so they can develop non-GM plants with improved salt tolerance. While this project will develop salt tolerant wheat and barley plants that are non-GM, it will use modern day biotechnology resources in the identification of the genes and the development of molecular markers which will be used to develop the non-GM plants. This research is a collaboration between people at the ACPFG, the University of Adelaide, the CSIRO Plant Industry in Canberra and the University of Western Australia in Perth. The project will be identifying the mechanisms for salt tolerance in plants that are grown in the greenhouse. However, the whole aspect of this is to inform farmers of how well their varieties are doing in the field. So the project also has field trials in Western Australia, South Australia and New South Wales where we're looking at seeing how these plants with these salt tolerant mechanisms in them perform and if they have greater yield in the field than current commercial varieties.